Hello everyone. Whether you're a fan of the Discovery Channel or not, brace yourself for a wild ride. Nature's got some jaw-dropping surprises in store, and we're here to show them to you. From the breathtaking elements to mind-boggling creatures and phenomena, stick around till the end to witness the glory of Mother Nature. Let's get it on. It's coming. The Stratovolcano Tavuva in Papua New Guinea put on quite a spectacle with a mighty shockwave and a plume of ash soaring over 11 miles high. This guy was very lucky to escape the avalanche and feel like an action movie hero at the same time. This man has no idea how lucky he is. Though it was simply impossible to predict this could happen. Imagine being close by when these waves casually lift several thousand pounds of metal as if it's nothing. Check out how a slender plume of smoke turns into something ten times mightier. This avalanche looks like a soft cloud, but we all know how deceptive its beauty is. If you've been wondering what it's like to be inside a sandstorm, you're welcome. Uh oh. About to be engulfed. <laughs> People are scrambling in the desert. Oh, oh
No way. I can't believe this. It's completely pitch black dark. Wow. Once again, I admire those who dedicate their lives to working on a ship. Let's take a quick peek at how scorching it can get in Arizona. People travel from around the globe to witness this rare show by the Perito Marino Glacier just once every five years. You could consider this place the gateway to hell. But the name is already taken by the Dalvaza gas crater in Turkmenistan, where an ominous flame has been burning continuously for more than 50 years. Check out the eerily peaceful and remarkable phenomenon called an ice shelf. <laughs> Nothing unusual. Just a woman in Iceland taking a sample of a volcanic mass hotter than 1800 degrees Fahrenheit. Can you believe these winds gusting at around 62 miles per hour? Does Arizona ever have normal weather? Bro, no way, dude! It was hard to think of a worse place for a house. But someone found it. Arcus Cloud offers not just a stunning sight, but also a dazzling display of light. The expression, my home is my fortress, was clearly not coined in this area.
a place in India where Newton's laws don't seem to apply. Standing at a whopping 1,300 feet tall, and believe it or not, it's not even the mightiest lava fountain on the planet. For a while, a tornado turned Milan from a fashion mecca into an apocalyptic landscape. In the Faroe Islands, the powerful winds are capable of actually making waterfalls flow in reverse. Eagles might seem a bit funny when they're in the water, but it doesn't take away from their majestic nature. On that day when someone asked, what's the weather like at the moment? There wasn't a simple answer. It was raining, but only for people in this house. Anybody want to sit and enjoy a view? Buffalo, New York. Crazy, crazy snowstorm. Everything is under ice. While it's highly unlikely to come across a blue glowing mushroom in the wild, green ones actually exist. Yellowstone is renowned for its geysers. But witnessing two of them simultaneously, along with a rainbow, is a rare treat. You might have known that rainbows are actually full circles, but have you seen how amazing they look? Looks like Poseidon went a little overboard on the shower gel. This perfectly flat circle with a diameter of 82 feet was created by nature without humans' help. It's absolutely amazing, almost like it was shot on an alien planet. Hit the like button if you dream of seeing this with your own eyes too.
I doubt any neural network can produce an image as stunning as the dance of starlings in flight. Small floods have their perks. In Washington, for example, salmon were able to take a shortcut across the Skokomish River during their annual migration. If there's anything better than beaches, it's beaches with bioluminescent plankton. You won't have to think about how to make fire on this mountain in Azerbaijan, all thanks to the natural gas that seeps to the surface through the ground. Ahora como está la marea baja se puede encender con facilidad, pero ya cuando está la marea llena cuesta porque esto está todo tapado con olas.